Welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of Better 1 of Long War of the Chosen 2. Time to get some additional resistance personnel. It is uh, bottom of month 2. We're still grinding our missions and Mission Operation Wolf this time leads us to West Africa. We unfortunately have a scrub noob team um, of really, really bad operatives uh, that are forced to do this mission. So it's actually going to be a decently hard mission. Good, and here we are. It's time for a jailbreak. We got four targets and an extraction zone which seems to be miles away from our actual location. Well, that's going to be pretty difficult. Might as well consider to move along this uh, line here as far as possible. And then last minute get on top of the roof and essentially try to extract the um, operatives without starting a fight. But that's easier said than done because there will be a lot of drones um, as they are always deployed here in jailbreaks. So with the drones um, it will be pretty hard for us to avoid detection completely. I want to take the high uh, high ground here. It's still so far away. Might as well take the high ground over here. On the move. Got eyes on a hostile squad. There is the first enemy squad. Yeah. As expected, between us and uh, the facility. There's one of the drones. As if I would have predicted it. We're moving to the other side. As for her, let's take some high ground over here. Location confirmed. Yeah, and the rookie. I don't know. For once, don't try to be a burden for us. Might be our lucky day, they are moving further away from us. On the other hand, the drone is catching up, so... We're pretty much caught between a rock and a hard place here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving closer. This here seems to be the only position uh, that the drone is not Moving. seeing currently. It's an advantage if you can see an enemy, uh, you can um, the game will give you uh, give away uh, the exact amounts of tiles that that enemy can see. Good. We're going to go for Overwatch and Overwatch. And unfortunately, she can't Overwatch. Um, he can't Overwatch. So we're just going to end the turn because Holo targeting a target essentially blows our cover, and we don't want that to happen. It's very likely that our cover is going to be blown, anyways.
because the drone will probably just spot us out. Yeah. And overwatch shots will be triggered. No. Are you serious? Okay, so apparently the drone has not spotted us out. Getting it done. It, however, soon is going to spot us out, which means we're going to overwatch here and here and, of course, here. Going to pull both the drone and uh, the pack of advents, and if we're unlucky, we're pulling yet another pack. There we go, that's the spotted situation, and now it's on. Sometimes I'm wondering why I'm even doing the overwatch traps, if all that we're getting out of it is... Well, never mind. That's why we're doing the overwatch traps. Okay, so we can move up to here. And probably even kill him. Just need a crit. Very nice, she's doing well. So moving to here in the hopes of actually killing this guy. Worked like a charm. want them to uh, take the sniper which is why I'm offering them an alternative target as long as we're standing in full cover we should be fine and this might as well be a kill I don't mind if we're destroying loot just want ah, close Talking out about perfect timing. Those guys have a perfect timing for their flank. Really well timed. Moving into full cover. So we need to keep in mind we could area suppress him, 55% chance to hit him. It's for our position here. 
I don't like taking 35% ch hit chances. Ah, we we have been lucky. Good. So moving up here. It's actually a very solid chance. I know, this is probably the best we can do. Grenade. Trying to just dish out some damage at least. Oh, wait. Just kill two resistant oper uh, resistance operatives. Oopsie. Sit down. Oops. This one's gonna be bright. Mistakes were made this uh, during this day. At least the grenade also damaged them quite badly. So we can still successfully finish the mission, it's just... Let's say we get a reduced reward. I'm ready. Okay, where is our ex extraction zone, by the way? It's right over there, so we are leaving the sniper just where it is. doing pretty well. She got some loot, she critted a lot of these guys. Okay, moving up. I think there's only one more, um, one more operative left over on this flank. I think it was a heavy gunner, but I might be mistaken. Hmm, well, both of it would be nice, but the chances are so low, I, that's not going to happen anyways. Yeah, so what are we supposed to do with... The fallen ones. Should we carry the bodies out? I mean, why why is there even a pointer here? I get it, they are resistance operatives. I just killed them. Moving on target 
location. Jumping off. That's disappointing. We could have had four. But the liberal use of grenades kind of costed us uh, that one objective. I haven't seen enemy activity. Yeah, and it says we killed two of them, so I guess no point in trying to get them back. In our defense, the grenade only did four points of damage, so... They should have survived. Right, moving the sniper down. Well, might as well take a shot. You did well, unfortunately. The drone has too much armor. They're trying to flank us. Yeah, that is suboptimal. It will slow us down quite a bit. to overwatch here and we are actually going to knife kill it almost in the extraction zone One more wave of reinforcements and then we should uh, move out. Yeah, two troopers. We're lucky. That's an easy pair of reinforcements. Yeah, of course. They're taking stupid positions. Moving up, and let's can uh, we can give them a flashbang. Let's wait for that for one more second. Moving to position. Moving over here. Just want to make sure that they are not shooting at the flank target. There is the flashbang for both of them.
All right, back. I had to take a very short break. So, everyone's flashbanged. Let us take the 40% 40, 40 shots here. And thankfully we can get rid of them. Let's move out. I hate it when the reinforcements are arriving like behind you, just to tie you up. It is smart, I, I get it. But it's likewisely annoying, they take their turn first. Essentially get into full cover and then just continue to overwatch. Good. So let's see how well he can actually overwatch. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Moving into full cover. I would probably say he has no chance other than uh, double moving himself to completely catch up. Maybe he can single move and somehow get a lucky shot, but I doubt that. So there's the double move. Additional reinforcements are coming. Time to get out of here. It was a flawless mission until we decided to bomb our own um, our own prisoners. And even then it would have been considered a flawless mission. But the reinforcements prevented it. I'm okay with it being an excellent mission only. And I'm also okay with leaving the one behind. We got what we or what we came for. At least one uh, rookie and one a rebel. So, as a reward, we got four promotions. Um, Abim Bola Mazibuku is going to get Death from Above, could have been very helpful. We're going to get um, Rapid Deployment for, uh, for her. Our Grenadier gets com uh, Combativeness and this is hopefully going to be a Specialist. Well, an Assault is also fine, we needed one more. Actually okay with that. And she killed a lot, so she did well for an on uh, for an up and coming assault. Let's use our rookie here and uh, begin training him as a specialist. Because we're missing one. The rookie that we have um, that we've gotten has a below average aim, not really a great hacking stat, but a lot of movement. You know, I'm thinking let's make him an assault as well. The movement actually helps quite a bit. And we are eventually getting our specialists. We are eventually getting our specialists. Probably too few at the moment, and that makes it a bit difficult.
There we go. Another bond. Our prime team has quite a few bonds now. So let's assess the overall situation. We got 75 intel, 74, which is still not enough to make contact, I believe. Making contact here should cost 100, yep. We received an additional... Wait a second, we received an additional resistance operator here. We're now completely going for Intel again because we need further missions. We only got one more uh, to go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I've made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Interesting. We found our laser weapons. Nice. It's mid of month two and we already got laser weapons. Isn't that exciting? Laser, stern gun and normal laser rifle. Advanced laser weapons takes more Elarium crystals. Hmm, how could we get those? Fortunately, We can't break uh, break any more Elarium cores down. Or hmm. Oh, I know how we can get it. We're currently scanning for them. Never mind. No Let's do the trooper autopsy. I've seen of We're currently scanning exactly for that. So as soon as the scan here is done, which is in one and a half days. We can start the research. Strategic resource located. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And look at look at the speed. Okay, we just started uh, the trooper autopsy, and it's almost halfway done. So advanced laser weapons will take us another nine days. Yes, please. Already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. However, we can move on to something else if you prefer. And I think the next mission that we've got is a smash and grab one, which will give us supplies. As long as uh, the tactic uh, that I'm applying works, as long as you're winning your missions. But if you're confident in your ability to win the missions, it's actually working quite well. So this here is probably going to be our next um, mission. Why does it say very light? Oh, advent strength increased to three in this area. Vigilance five. So they are pretty aware that we're here but I think we got a good squad uh, squad here yeah six people okay the plan is we're going to do the smash and grab get as much uh, or as many resources as possible 12 crates are there uh, I'm not sure if this here includes loss doesn't say anything about it may or may not include lost. Uh, we don't have the, the information. Um, I would say a good baseline would be to aim for anywhere between 6 and 10 crates. 10 would be really, really good. 6 would be still okay, uh, depending on uh, the activities and the amount of enemies. 12 enemies in there. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. Intel-wise, we still need one more Intel mission to make contact. And I would want to focus also on West Africa as well. Um, we got to do some more missions here because um, the strength and the vigilance in um, East Africa increases quite a bit. Now, having enough um, enough uh, at, um, enough 
um, haven resistance operatives to to go for intel should give us probably three or four more missions we still got eight days um, in the second month so we might be able to get another set of missions at least started and that would be absolutely fantastic at the end of the month um, we then would convert at least one of our main soldiers into the covert ops missions so that's uh, the thought process about the strategy and what we're going to do next thank you as always for watching don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and see you soon bye bye